some members of the media were engaged in deliberately false reporting. There will be times when we see things differently in this room. This was the largest audience to ever witness an inauguration, period. That's okay. Uh, that's part of our democracy. That's what you guys should be writing and covering. The importance of bringing truth and transparency back to the briefing room. I will see you on Monday. Let's do this again tomorrow. Thank you, Jen. Thank you, Jen. Thank you. So, John, what's the takeaway here? Do we just reset the Wayback Machine to normal and put all compasses on true north and pretend abnormal isn't out there, pay no worship to the garish sun? No, I think actually the opposite, Brian. I think it's part of the reason why we wanted to, to do that piece of video, why we'll continue to do it. I think it's right when people say, uh, that you know, Donald Trump is no longer the president of the United States and we should not be paying attention to him, not, not pay attention to him at all because he still is a factor in American life. But his, the amount of coverage that, Joe, that, that Donald Trump gets now as a private citizen should be dialed way, way down. That's right and proper. I think it's important for the sake of, of exactly for the sake of reestablishing and reminding people about what normal should look like, about what an administration that behaves in a way that's proper, in a way that's responsible, in a way that's responsive, to remind them that there was this other thing. Don't let it get sucked down the memory hole. That's why we're going to keep making videos like this, the recount, where we will remind people when we see the Biden administration doing its job the way that it should do. And, and, and I'll trust me, when the Biden administration doesn't do its job, we're going to call that out too. But when it's doing its job the way it should, we want to remind people about what it was like four years ago when Sean Spicer gave that press conference and set the, so much the tone for everything else that we would see going forward. Uh, it's it, never forget is a good is a good uh, a, is a good phrase to be applied to a lot of things in life. And I don't think it will be helpful to our country uh, to forget some of the worst trespasses of the Trump era. And I don't think it, it would be it, I think it's also good for us to point out places where the Biden administration is trying to make things right. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.